Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to do something a little different than our normal morning videos. We normally video horse trailers every morning. Today we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to show you guys kind of our whole lineup of 2021 uh, Cimarron stock boxes. We've got a few of them here with a few different options, a few different setups, and we'll kind of go over the options and how they might benefit and work for you guys. I'll start off with this first one. This is a five footer, 60 inches, so this will fit in a five foot bed of your pickup. It'll fit in a six foot or an eight foot and you can have plenty of room for you know show supplies so pretty much what these stock boxes are for those of you that you know are just showing you know small hogs lambs pigs stuff like that goats i think i think they'd be great for even dogs sometimes you have hunting dogs you're going hunting in a lake or something like that they're getting muddy you don't want them to jump up in your nice pickup you can throw them in here close it up it stays warm they stay safe and they stay out of the wind and stuff like that you don't have to worry about jumping out of your truck going down the road but basically they're people who don't want to buy a trailer and have a full setup trailer going down the road you can slip this in the back of your truck with a couple guys or a tractor a skid a forklift slip it in the back of your truck strap it down and be able to haul two three animals going down the road safely and efficiently how this six footer or this five footer is set up we have plexiglass wrapped around all the way out the top that plexi is removable if you want to get a little more air for whatever you're hauling in here or you can put it in there keep the air out but also give your animals a little more light in here so they can see a couple options we do that sometimes you don't see on Cimarron stock boxes is we go ahead and we add an all aluminum floor to the bottom of them. The reason we add this aluminum floor is because if you don't, it's basically just a shell sitting on top of your pickup bed. Whatever you're hauling in there is going to the bathroom and stuff like that. You make your bed pretty nasty in there. So we always add the aluminum floor. It's real easy to spray out, drag out with the broom, real easy to clean when you get where you're going or you get home from where you're going. Another thing we add on here is I'll show you guys over here. So we had a seven pin plug. It can plug into your bed plug of your pickup or you can run it over the rail and plug it in the back of your pickup. The reason we do that is so you can have a light switch in there for your animals. Not so much your animals can see going down the road, but if you're in the middle of the night rolling down the road and you want to check on them, you can just flip the switch inside either if your plexiglass door or you can open a door and flip a switch and be able to see your animals and stuff going down the road fairly easily. This five footer is set up with a middle cut gate. Typically you can get them with a single gate that runs the length of it or the width of it. This one is set up with a single gate that runs the width of this trailer. It's really easy. You flip your lever, lever so you can load one animal in the front and then it's really easy. You can just slam your gate, throw another one in the back, close your gate, throw your tailgate up and you're going to the show or going home from the show. Animals have a safe, you know, efficient place to ride. We also put air gaps in our trailers. These are two-way air gaps. They work similar to our horse trailers. If you've watched our horse trailer videos, you can either pull air in with these air gaps or uh, push air out. Typically, we have two of them. You can pull air in with the front one and pull it out with the back one. That way, you're getting fresh air rolling in here for your dogs, your goats, your sheep, lambs, stuff like that. We like to keep your animals cool going down the road, so we kind of keep the same simmer on standards that we do in our trailers as far as you know heating, cooling, effectiveness, and we try to transfer them over into our stock boxes and it shuts up real simple it's a pin latch on your first door that shuts pins really simple just a knob you pull your second gate shuts like that. and that's a five footer that we have with plexiglass we're now going to jump to a six footer with plexiglass the cool thing about these six footers is if you got an eight foot pickup bed you have typically if you have an eight foot pickup bed you see a lot of them with toolboxes up in front if you have an eight foot bed you can slide this six footer up there up against your toolbox still have access to your toolbox still have storage on the side for some of your show tools and stuff like that that way you're using your full bed for tools animals and you still have access to your toolbox or maybe even like a jump or fuel tank in the back of your truck you don't have to worry about taking that out if you're going somewhere but this seven footer is set up a little differently than that five footer we just went over your front gates are going to be very similar, just a pin and a latch. This one is a T-style setup gate. So this one we set up more to haul three animals. You're going to have that center cut gate up at the front, cutting width-wise, and then you're going to have this T coming all the way back for the width. So you can always load one in the front and load two here in the back. Your back swing gate just runs off a pin. You can either, the thing I like about it, if you have maybe a little bit larger animal, that you want to load in here and it's not going to technically fit in there maybe a bigger hog or something like that a hog is kind of not necessarily a you know a little pot belly or something like that but one's getting bigger you need to get to the show and you load them in here kind of on a slant type setup and get a little bigger animal in here they're real handy um 
thing I like about them, if you guys have seen those motorcycle ramps that a lot of people load their motorcycles or snowmobiles or four wheelers in the back of their trucks with, you can get a similar setup like that for this to where you can load your animals up the ramp and into here fairly easy. That way you're not picking up your lambs or some bigger hogs are going to be pretty hard to pick up and put in the bed of your pickup. But you can get those ramps like those motorcycles used to load in the pickup and go right up the ramp right into your stock box. Fairly easy. Your latch up there for your center cut gate is going to be the exact same as that other one we went over. You just pull it, this swings out of the way, you can load whatever animal you want in there. Here, I can show you guys real quick too, if this door don't hit me. As you can see, it's fairly easy. Throw one in the front. You have plenty of room in here. We can do these 72 inch setups, we can do these six foot setups any way you want. We can do them with the center that runs the whole way, a center in the middle, or a T setup like this. We can kind of, we can cater to you guys if you want to order something that'll fit your guys' setup a little better. So that there is a 72 inch, same setup. It's got the seven pin with the light in there for you guys as well. And over here we'll go over another five footer with a couple different things, or I should say one different things. This five footer is going to be the exact same dimensions. It's got that center cut cake just like that other five footer we just went over. Difference in this one, as you'll notice if you come around the side, instead of having plexiglass inserts, we went ahead and did drop downs on this one. I think drop downs are a little easier, that way you're not fighting with plexiglass. The only downfall of drop downs is you're not getting that extra light in there for your animals. But it's real simple to use these drop downs, they fold up. If you don't want air or light getting in there for your animals and they're real easy to fold down check on your animals or get that air going in there your other side will have that same setup we do have plexiglass on your back doors and the same center cut gate we talked about the light a little bit in those other in those other five footers but here is how that led light shines keep light in here for your animals or you can check on your animals going on the road. The switch for that light and all of these stock boxes is going to be right here. Sneak under the camera and show you guys. The handy switch, you can click that light on and off going down the road. Real easy to use. I think these are super simple. Um, someone who maybe can't afford a trailer, who doesn't want to invest in a big trailer, they're only going to show for high school. If they got their kids in 4-H for a couple of years to help them learn about animals, learn about the ag industry, they're not investing in a large trailer. They're investing in one of these. It's going to hold its value going down the road. Use it for a couple of years. It's really easy to sell, really easy to market because used ones are hard to find. And I think people, once they realize how simple and effective these are to use, they're going to come along. And just like that, I mean, they're super easy to shut up and go down the road. And just like that, you're ready to go to the show or go home from the show. If you're interested in any of these we got, we have some more coming in, some different six foot setups, some different five foot setups. Give me a call at TransWest. Phone number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in.